Hey everybody, it's Mako. Um, this is number six of the Mako Radio Show. And today, instead of... Um, oh, you like my hair and the way I look? Yeah, this is this is me basically rolling out of bed uh, like an hour ago. So, <laughs> this is my this is my rolling out of bed look. Anyway, um, I thought I'd actually review the movie that I saw, that I got talked about in the last one, and I actually went to go see Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which um, is, I think, I saw it for the, uh, the second weekend it's been out. And uh, I gotta say, I actually really liked it. I really um, thought it was a good movie. Um, I don't know if, if you guys saw the first one, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which is basically a remake <laughs> kind of actually it's more of like a reimagining of the original series uh especially the first movie uh, planet of the apes with charlton heston um i really enjoyed the reimagined version that came out like two or three years ago with uh, james franco and um thought that was a really good movie and, and enjoyed that quite a bit so uh this is a sequel to that one called dawn of the planet of the apes and uh it's actually directed by someone else so it's actually directed by matt reeves who did um cloverfield and uh, let let me in, which was a remake of one of my favorite movies, Let the Right One In. Um, but I actually thought it was really well done. The audience, the, the theater was packed. The audience had a great time, um, and uh, I thought the acting was really good. The story was really good. And once again, um, Caesar, who's the main character, basically steals the show. And it's 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 great, great animation, great CG work, great acting by Andy Serkis, um, who basically plays the character um, with the help of animators that um, basically bring this character to life. In fact, actually, one of the things that is kind of fascinating about the movie um, and was the same with the first one that was really well done is that it's it's amazing how much you care about these characters that aren't even real on the screen when you think about it. Uh, So that's that's a huge kudos to the director, the filmmakers, the actors um, and to, you know, the technicians and the animators and everybody because and the, and the writers too because it's hard to do and uh, it, it, they made it work again so I, I would say that this one is on par with the first one in terms of uh, how much I liked it um, some of the new in fact actually I think almost all the actors for the most part are new in this movie James Franco isn't in it um, a lot of the main characters in the first one don't actually appear well aren't really in it except for um, Oh, there's like a little flashbacky moment, <clears throat> but um, Jason Clark plays the lead. Uh, Carrie Russell's also a new character in it. Cody Smith McPhee, who was actually the um, character, the little boy character in, in Let Me In, uh, is in this. And then Gary Oldman, who I love, uh, actually plays a, a major character in this film. Um, and the music's great. Uh, the the special effects are really good. The cinematography's great. Uh, again, it's like I can't really complain much about the film. It's really, really cool. And the story, the way it uh, un- un- unravels is really thought-provoking in terms of uh, our own culture and our own society where, um, you know, not everyone's good. <laughs> not everyone's bad, but not everyone's good either. And you can't just blame the whole entire culture, you know, or, or group of people for one bad seed. Although that's what we often do in our society, which is a shame. But it's a good it's a good take on that. And I think really good sci-fi, really good storytelling takes those concepts and then brings them to a different light that kind of makes you think um, without being attacked, you know, in a way. It's like in a weird way, it's like now they can't really be attacked like any one particular group or culture for the most part. So anyway, great movie. I definitely recommend seeing it. Uh, it's probably one of the better films I've seen this summer. Um, for the most part, I think it's been kind of a lackluster summer for me in terms of films that have really grabbed me. And um, I still want to see Boyhood, uh, and I, I'm definitely looking forward to um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, it definitely looks like something that's right up my alley. I just hope it's not real campy and cheesy. You never know until you see it, but I think that comes out in a couple of weeks, so I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Um, and uh, real quick... Uh, before I leave, this is a shorter one because I'm just doing a review. Uh, I'm actually going to start up my interviews this week. And I already have a couple lined up. So um, first and foremost, I'm actually going to do an interview with Smooch slash Clue Dog, who many of you know um, is probably one of the most talented transformation uh, gender artists in the world. 
in my opinion. Uh, I actually worked with him on Paradox Alice. He helped out uh, with some stuff on Paradox Alice. And he's agreed to actually let me uh, interview him sometime this week. So uh, please, if you have any questions for him, go ahead and send them in literally you know, in the next couple of days so I can go ahead and compile them and get them ready for when I actually interview him. Uh, and keep them civil, as always. And uh, keep any comments in general civil and respectful. And, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll respond to them. Uh, and everyone's been great. I can't complain. I haven't had to delete a single comment so far with the Mako Radio Show. I think everyone's been very, very great and gracious about um, commenting and leaving your thoughts, opinions, and questions. So uh, thank you very much for that. It makes my life that much easier. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for now. Um, I'll get back to you guys' questions in the next Mako Radio Show. So take care, have a good week. Adios.